back. So now that we have the boat, we are making preparations to take it out this weekend just to ensure everything's, you know, safe and sound and everything. But before we even take it out, there's a huge list of items that we needed to get that did not come with the purchase. So let me show you what we didn't have um, due to we sold our boat, our old boat last year and all of our stuff we gave it to the buyers because you know they had kids and everything there was no need for us to keep you know certain items so I'll go through a list of what we don't have and what's required for the boat. More thing yes sorry for the uh, nasty tarp cover we did order a boat cover so that's on its way in but temporarily this will do just to keep all the debris out because it gets pretty um, dusty in our area so we you know we definitely want to keep the interior nice and clean okay guys so the boat did not come with an anchor and we bought the Yamaha OEM anchor not through Yamaha because I the price is a little bit higher we got it off a web uh, a different website and um, they're located in Georgia so I'll post the website link to where we got that um, there's no life vest like I said when we sold our boat we kind of just left everything on the boat for the family to have so we've been out a whole season we haven't been out on the water so it wasn't necessary for us to keep the life jackets so the boat capacity is 12 we got two sets of these packets so there's four each so we got eight total the only reason why I got eight of these was because I wanted to get better ones for us when we're in the water so mine came in just waiting for Kevin's um, obviously some towels here that was from that's something that we obviously kept and we're just getting the table prepped for the decals because we do have to put our DMV the uh, vessel number onto the boat um, some rope we had left over we had to get these um, these dock buoy bumper thingies um, we needed to get an oar of course our safety flag um, this is just some extra rope for the boat and we're probably gonna put some tools and stuff in there and Let's see there is a fire extinguisher. I already put that on the boat guys So you do have to have a fire extinguisher and what else are we missing? There was one other item that didn't arrive yet and That's the flotation thing the little donut thing that you throw out. So a throw out a bowl of um, Donut flotation device thing so yeah, we have another busy weekend, so we're gonna head out Friday night just to, we're going to Lake Paris, so it is a campground for, they do have full hookup options, but the trailer length is only 31, so we can't take the magnitude. We're gonna take the dually and we're going to camp it out in the dually for just one night so that we can launch first thing in the morning. We just want to launch first thing in the morning because it is a new boat. We just want to make sure there's not so much people out there when we're launching because we just want to make sure, you know, um, if we're missing something and whatnot, we're just not in anyone's way. And we plan to head out of the water by 11 or 12. So when we come back to launch back, the boat dock is the launches is not you know crowded so it's just gonna be like a half day thing but we're gonna stay overnight just so that we can launch first thing in the morning okay we just got additional safety equipment this is the donut well it's not a donut but we opted for this throwable square so I believe you should be able to the person in the water if you need to throw it at them should be able to sit on it I believe so we'll see how that goes, um, or we'll hope we won't need to use that, and Kevin's life jacket came in. Okay, Kevin's just putting on the uh, lettering, the plates, and the uh, registration tags. We're getting ready to head over to Lake Paris. So we're hoping to just camp the night and launch first thing in the morning. One more thing, since we can't bring the magnitude, guys, Kevin did get this, um, the shell, the camper shell, so we can hunker down in here for the night, so let's see how it goes. We have some mats laying down right now, and we just gotta do something to make it more comfortable. 
maybe down the line we'll get like a little mattress topper or something if you're if there are times like this where we can't bring the magnitude but here's the we're just getting ready to head out no diesel today i'm sorry diesel she knows we're heading out somewhere okay guys for just tonight we are here in the camper shell got our sleeping bags not so bad pretty roomy so this is gonna be our one night so we can launch early in the morning so i gotta turn off the lights before these bugs start coming in morning guys getting ready to we got to go back to the front and get checked in so in some lakes out here in this southern california there's a couple lakes out here that you have to get your vehicle your vessel inspected prior to getting in the water because of those those the quagga mussels or whatever i don't know if i'm saying it right but we're about to go get her uh, checked in and inspected and we've been rejected before so it's definitely not fun. Okay, we're back at the front We're back at the front To get the inspection started like I said you have to get your vessel inspected and approved if there is water in any of the engine bays Then uh, you're screwed and they will reject you. They're pretty serious about this stuff guys. She's in the engine now. Obviously, it hasn't touched a speck of water. This is gonna be our first time, so we should be fine. But this is the process. Okay, we're ready to go, guys. Okay, so after check-in or vessel inspection, you have to pass this gate before you launch, and this guy's gonna make sure you've been signed off, and they put a little, um, did they put the little rope thing, the, the should, tag? Yes. Okay, they always put a tag on your trailer, and I'll show you guys what that tag looks like. If you don't have that tag, this guy will send you back to the front to get inspected. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? beautiful day guys it's the start of the season we're out here early too so it's pretty quiet so it's a perfect time to get this tested first time in the water launched no problem looks like it started no problem looks like everything's working now I'm gonna hop on and hang out guys she did great there was one little issue back in the transom back in the deck area we just needed to make sure um, I'll show you guys in another video with all the specs and stuff we just made, needed to make sure these um, things were closed and shut that's why we got that rope all tied up but other than that just draining it and we're getting ready to pack it up and head home so I'll see you guys next week. Okay, one more thing guys, when you head out, you wanna tell these guys that you want a re-entry seal. They'll put that little seal tag back on so you can come back without inspecting it. 
and do not remove it because once you remove it you're gonna have to get your vessel re-inspected through the whole process again he's back there getting the seal on for us okay this is that seal that i'm telling you guys about that um it's a re-entry seal so they seal this up if you disconnect it then you have to go through that whole reinspection process again and we've been rejected one time and yeah it's not a fun thing to go through when you're rejected and you have to get turned away for the day so just make sure you guys if you plan to re-entry into the same park you use this to come back but um so if we plan to go have a zoo or something and we disconnect this then and another month we plan to go back to Paris then we have to go through that reinspection because of the the water the muscle stuff and whatnot 